We are headed out on the water today with Tucker because the marina is going to be demoing a sailboat that's over in the Severn River by Annapolis. And like sometimes they'll have Tobo bring it over, but since Tucker has this fully operational boat and a day off, we're gonna go get it ourselves. Yeah, it's got good parts on it that Tucker can use. So Oh the, the demo boat. Yeah, the demo boat. Yeah, so, so that's the reason why we're volunteering to Yeah, do so this. by grabbing it, he gets first pick up the parts on the demo boat. <laughs> oh god. Nice cloudy overcast morning on the Chesapeake. Excuse me, ma'am, I'm recording. Sorry, um, I was first. Sorry, um, this I is take the, precedence. This is the trashy Tucker trawler. I'm supposed to be the one recording. <laughs> We successfully have Alex on board now and the skiff tied up to the back, but to be honest, I don't know how much content I'll be able to use well because these guys like to cuss a lot. So it could just be a lot of narrations over us motoring over there. <laughs> so, but we're on our way, we're going seven knots. It is a calm day out, a little overcast, kind of drizzly, but to be honest, we probably couldn't ask for much better conditions to be towing boats. like so snuggled up in all of my winter gear right now. <laughs> it's great. We're almost across the Chesapeake to the Severn. We can see the Naval Academy doing some exercises on their boats, but luckily the rain has held off. Everything's going smoothly. Well, he's definitely reversing. Come on, Alex, what, give us your captain's knowledge. You just took the course. What does three horns mean? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, you got another flower. Someone grabbed the goddamn. I only grab the wheel if it's going to hit something. All right, we are in the Severn River now looking for the boat. It's an old hunter. We're kind of given an approximate location. Alex supposedly has more information. We are gonna keep our eye <laughs> At least like the wind has calmed down now. Luckily, there's still no rain. Coming up on Weems Creek right now, where the boat should be, we think. Alex is getting information. Just get high next one. Yeah, we're coming up on it. There should be a it's up there pretty good clip. dinghy somewhere too that the guys are gonna get, but it's up there further. Yeah. Maybe Matt and I found a new home. Yeah. Or the pacemaker live on a sailboat. I, I want Alex a sailboat. Alex is so again. tired of people taking demo boats and living on them. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's what we're on right now. We'll give you uh, Alright, so the guys are hopping in the marina's skiff and they're gonna go get the dinghy that goes along with this boat. That's somewhere on the shore. It's okay, Callie, we're anchored now. You wanna go outside and explore? And what do we do when we can't feel our toes and nothing else is happening? Have a little sip of moonshine. Nice apple cinnamon flavor there. Shot glass waiting. Sounds like a plan to me. Cheers. Oh, that tastes good. It's like perfect for sitting around here and waiting for the guys to come back. <laughs> Once you get up the Severn River, some of the house sizes around here are just ridiculous. Like the one that's behind the hunter here that we're coming to grab. I honestly thought it was like two properties at first. It's not. It's just one. Feel the tide come in. No. Feeling now used to lose my ground. Hey, 
Yes, we got a new outboard. Nice, what is it? It's a 9.9 Honda 2021. Hey, that's awesome. Oh, there's a little guy. We're gonna right winch this sucker up. Might as well try it with this. It weighs like 200 pounds. She'll pick her up. Abandoned attempt at lifting the dinghy up onto the deck here. Some of you may know that while we're building the catamaran, Matt and I live between a few different uh, power boats at the marina. One of them is the Viking, which belongs to Pete, which we've been living on in the winter, and the other is a 31-foot pacemaker without a ton of space. So we're always kind of on the lookout for a more comfortable living space home, and who knows if this hunter could be it, if they're just gonna demo it anyway, and if it's salvageable, maybe Matt and I could turn it into our new home and then take like weekend sail trips while we're, cause I'm sure, yeah, we take a lot of days off. But anyway, we're always looking for like a better spot to rest our head at night. So gross, so gross. Oh, I forgot about the Annapolis like gunky mud. So right now the guys are trying to get the anchor up so that Alex can connect and then tow the boat over here. She's moving. Slowly but surely making her way over here. Here she is, our new potential home. You guys looked inside yet? <laughs> Matt's scouting out his potential or lack thereof. Uh, it's bigger, better. Bigger, better. <laughs> hey, there we go, Alex. We're gonna do a trade. What? We're gonna do a trade. You get a pacemaker, and we get a sailboat. After I take the systems off. On the move now on the way back. Captain Alex showing off his skills. We are just about out of the Seven River and back into the Chesapeake Bay and heading around five knots or so. Everything at the moment is going well. And again, very, very glad now that there is no wind today. So there's no chop, nothing really to fight. If things keep going like this, it should be a smooth ride back to Kentmore. I'm finally warm now. I'm glad at least I prepared for cold weather. I don't think anybody else here did. I probably won't be able to film much of the entry because Matt and uh, Alex are gonna get on the skiff and then Tucker and I are gonna handle lines, but basically we're gonna try and get the sailboat tied up to the fuel deck. Taking the boats in a wide circle right now as I think uh, Alex is trying to get tied up to the sailboat so that he can tow it in. Um, yeah. Slow down! Slow down! <laughs> Going a little too fast apparently. <laughs> like doing five knots here. So 
So we're headed in right now with this boat and they're just gonna tow that to the fuel dock? Yeah. All right. Cool. Dock real quick and then we'll run over there and help. All righty. Time to see what this boat actually looks like. One guest to wear Matt clean his hands after bringing up the anchor. They're looking at the sink and everything that's in here. <laughs> well, it needs some furniture. Is that a first aid? Well, you can't use that for a bag or something. A sleeping bag. Head. Look at the brand new ports. What's this? New holding tank. Brand new ports. What's this? That's for the, yeah, that's the heater. And it was a small berth, but and I don't know if we could both comfortably fit in here. Oh, I just wanted the uh, iron. I'm keeping that in. All right. Dude, that'd be great for your little shop. Yeah. In charge of work. Sweet. Well, the guys are really excited about different things they're finding on here, but as bare boned as this is, and even looking like there's no cooktop, there's no fridge, there's no cushions, there's no uh, ceiling. I don't think this is going to be the boat for us to live in. We'll stick with the pacemaker. Would have been fun, kind of a fun idea to have a sailboat again, but... Oh, but you guys can put it in the tent and fix it there. And then we can fix up another boat, because we haven't done that enough, but... Uh, I don't think we'll be trying to take this boat to live in. I'm sure it could be done, but if we're gonna put work toward another boat, I'd rather have it be for the catamaran that we're trying to get in the water next year. Look what's running. Oh, that's nice. That's quiet too, wow. That is nuts. Nice. I still be able to get something out of this, dude. <laughs> it is a shame because like with some work and probably not too much, this would be a decent livable space. Like if another person wanted to take this on as a project boat or maybe even if we had found this right at the beginning, but comparing it as is right now to the pacemaker as is, the pacemaker is looking like a pretty good deal. Uh, but yeah, it's a shame that I suppose just gonna go. Who needs a single women's flip flop? <laughs> oh yeah, it's really That's mine, actually. <laughs> okay. Came off of my foot. Well, it's a shame we didn't just get ourselves a sailboat because it would have been kind of fun to switch up living spaces yet again and have something to take out on the occasional day off, but. I think I'll just keep working on the catamaran. Speaking of, let's go get a few projects done on there. Life is so easy. Whoa, you love me to pieces. Yeah, I need it. Won't you bend them on? Clear. 